What's the wildest dream you ever had? Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy. Thanks. Story 1. I dreamed that I was back in college, weeks away from graduating, only to suddenly get an email from a professor, whom I never met saying that I had missed every single day of a class that I never knew I was enrolled in. I was in a blind panic trying to figure out what I had missed and what I needed to do to pass, only to wake up and eventually realize that I am already graduated and have a job. Story 3. I once dreamed I had to kill a dinosaur by cutting off the top of its skull and pour boiling gasoline onto its brain. Also it was a cartoon dinosaur that looked like a giraffe. I remember that if I failed in killing this dinosaur something really bad was going to happen so it was super important. Story 4. I used to work for Coca-Cola years ago. I absolutely hated it. Terrible bosses, barely mediocre pay. I quit there almost 20 years ago and have been with the same company since I left. Well a few years ago I had a dream that I quit the company I am at and went back to work for Coke. I was miserable, same old crap as before. The dream was so real that when I woke I laid in bed and was convinced I had went back to work for Coke. I was legitimately depressed and sad for about 20 minutes until I realized it was just a dream. Story 6. Had a dream where I was walking by an elementary school and heard banging. Looked at the school and a bunch of children and babies were banging on the windows with their bloody hands. So I rush over to save them but realize my feet hurt. I look down and the grass is made of razor blades. I fall over and look up into the tree to see a bunch of babies and children hanging from nooses, struggling to breathe. Story 8. In this dream I was suddenly on my grandparents' farm and I could tell I was about 10 to 20 years older than I am right now. The sky was burning an angry red-orange mix and the sun was burning so bright that I felt like my skin was on fire. I saw dozens of people running around, screaming, trying to find loved ones and just general panic. I realized that everyone was panicking BC we were all being burned alive by the sun. I was wandering around, feeling like I was looking for someone I loved but I didn't know who that was. A random man was running and he stabbed me in the gut. He was crying and just stammering that he didn't know what to do, what should any of us do. I woke up then with my eyes literally hurting and I felt like my gut was on fire. Took weeks if not months to not still feel that when I thought about it. From birth to death, I was trying to quit smoking in the late aughts and had a nicotine patch on, which would give me really weird and vivid dreams. Slept for 11 hours one night and lived this other life. Was the most bizarre and crazy thing I've ever experienced. It was so vivid and so real. I promptly forgot all but a little bit of it while waking up, but the emotions and sensations still remain. In the dream, my family and I were supposed to be moving to a new house. We arrived at the new place to take a look around. The previous owner's furniture was still in there, mostly boxed up and ready to go. I decided to go upstairs and found a corridor behind a panel in the wall. The corridor was kind of dusty and cobwebbed, and there was a door at the end of it. I opened the door into a room that was almost an exact copy of the room I shared with my older sister in my real home, save for a few extra bits. There was a vanity table, one of those built-in ones with cupboards surrounding it and a big mirror at the back. And on the table was a small TV with built-in VCR that was on but playing static. Stuck all around the mirror were photos from my childhood, birthday parties, first day at school etc. And in every one there was another person next to me but their faces was scratched out. The TV suddenly started playing a VHS tape, a family video of my 6th birthday party, except that other person was there again, but the face was blurred out. There were other copies of things around the room I had as a kid or drawings I remember doing but they all had a different name on them. Dream me got creeped out and left the room and walked back downstairs to join my family as they were leaving the house. I turned back and glanced up the stairs to see someone who looked exactly like me peeking around the top of the stairs, looking straight back at me. Absolutely freaked me out and I told my mom about it when I woke up. She seemed fairly nonplussed and chose to respond by saying well you were a twin, but I'm scared. Maybe they were saying hello. My dad was also in there, about an hour earlier than he was usually up. I told him about this dream I had where I saw this giant scorpion crawling on the ceiling of an all-white room above me and I couldn't move until the scorpion started falling on my face when I woke up. He says was it brown and really hairy. I was like a, yeah. How did you know? And he's like I just had the exact same dream. To this day, neither one of us can explain it. We had a number of other weird coincidences happen when I was a toddler too, but that one was a special brand of weird. A girl at a bus stop has a ball paddle game but the ball is a knife. She then kills everyone with a chemical bomb. 
A child kidnapped me, dissected my organs from me on a couch while I was awake. I fall in love with a man named Benji Rat in a classic Hallmark movie fashion. But when I meet his family, they all try to kill me and his basement is full of FNAF style plush cats. My personal favorite, New Hotel Transylvania movie came out. Johnny and Mavis got a divorce and Cake by the Ocean played constantly throughout the movie. I have a lot of weird nightmares but I really love my stupid dreams lol. Story 13 I had a dream last night that I was at a Red Hot Chili Peppers concert and Anthony Kiedis went into the crowd and just started humping people while singing. He humped these two guys from behind and they just decked him. He got code and they had to cancel the rest of the show. Story 14 I used to have a recurring dream. It would start with me being alone in a house in the kitchen. I walked into a big room and closed the door behind me. It was dark. The room was empty except for one of those wind-up jack-in-the-box things on the other side of the room, and it would start to wind down and play some kind of creepy clown music. I asterisk new asterisk I couldn't just back out of the room, the door was now locked, but there was a door on the other side by the jack-in-the-box. I also asterisk new asterisk I had to get out before it went off, so I ran for the door on the other side of the room. I made it before the jack-in-the-box went off. Beyond the door was a hallway. There's a door that goes to the bathroom, and the hallway continues to wrap around the corner. I know something bad is coming from around the corner, so I hide in the bathroom. The door is closed, but I still asterisk see asterisk these child-sized mechanical toy things march down the hall and towards the dark room. Once they pass, I know it's safe to leave. I go back down the hall, through the dark room which is no longer a danger. I know the door is unlocked now, and I go back to the kitchen. Then a group of friends comes in from outside, they were done roasting marshmallows over a campfire, I feel safe again, and the dream ends. This dream always happened exactly the same way, feelings and all. It was like I kept having it for the first time, only upon waking up did I realize I'd had it again, and I always woke up after the dream ended, as far as I know. Was on a family trip in a station wagon and we all died driving off the end of a dock. Looked out over the water and there were suddenly concrete lily pads and somehow I knew that's where we had to stand when we were with the devil. I know this because God and the devil negotiated that we'd spend half our time with each of them. Story 17 I once had a dream I got knocked out. In the dream I went black and came to somewhere else with the same symptoms of being actually knocked out. Story 18 I was hanging out with a friend who had died a few years prior at my place. When he went to leave, I followed him out for a moment and my mom was there outside. I asked her, do you see that boy there walking away in the white shirt? And she said no. Story 19. I found myself standing on a beach, staring out at the vast expanse of the ocean in front of me. Suddenly, a massive wave began to form, rising up higher and higher until it was towering above me like a skyscraper. Instead of crashing down on top of me, however, the wave seemed to freeze in midair hovering over my head like a giant water droplet. Story 21, flying nude while eating an ice cream. Story 22, I was in a forest, on my knees, hands tied behind my back, wearing chain mail armor. The people standing around me were wearing armor as well. I couldn't see any faces, only up to their shoulders. Some inaudible talking as I was looking around trying to figure out what was happening. See shiny metal come towards my neck. It was warm. Heard my neck crack, then my vision fell to the ground as I watched my decapitated body fall forward. Woke up drenched in sweat, heartbeat racing. Only thing I thought was death doesn't hurt. Life-changing dream. Story 23. Last night I dreamt I was reuniting with all my old buddies and teachers from back when I was training at wrestling college to become a professional wrestler. We reminisced about all the old rivalries, the pranks. I went back around the old campus grounds exploring and catching up with the faculty. So many stories. Only of course in the waking world I have never had anything to do with wrestling and have zero interest in the sport. But my brain was capable of weaving this incredibly detailed tapestry of places and characters. I woke up and feel sad that it was all just bullshit. Story 25. I'm on an SNRIN pregnant so wild dreams are a common occurrence. A recent one I was jumping across parallel universes and got to experience a couple of my lives on timelines far skewed from the one I live now. Story 26. I had one dream where I just decided to walk off a building. I landed on the ground and didn't feel a thing. I walked away like nothing happened. The dream ended there because mom told me it's time to get up for school. Story 27. My house was suddenly full of water. 
and all the town folk decided to stand on our roof and defecate onto what was essentially a giant toilet. I was swimming toward the surface in a panic, dodging turds that were sinking all around me. Between depleting oxygen and poop all around, I don't think I made it. Story 29 Recently I had a dream about a game of dodgeball. I dreamt leaping after the ball to catch it, woke up mid-air, falling over the side of my bed, arms stretched out. I fell flat on my face. Story 30 I'll make it short. I dreamed of a hot bimbo chick pulling me over and searching me. Later that week in real life my GF and I went to a porn store. I see a porn cover of the police woman from my dream. I immediately tell my GF about the dream and how this is a sign I'm going to be pulled over when we leave. We leave and I wait before pulling into the road until a cop passes which was just a minute or so of waiting. Boom I changed destiny, that's the cop that would pull me over. I then pull out in the road and a normal car is behind me. And oh shit a cop is behind them. Yep, I get pulled over for a brake light being out. I remember in the dream thinking that if I spoke, something terrible was going to happen so I didn't say anything. We round the corner on the sidewalk and I see my brother wrapped in bike chain in the street. My mom and dad said nothing. As we're walking ahead, my mom and dad fall behind and I look behind me to see the grass reach up and grab them, then pulling them into it. I was so scared I ended up just willingly falling into the grass and it ate me. I woke up in another dream, where I was crying for my mom only to have a fucking skeleton pop around my doorframe. I finally woke up after that. To this day I've never had a dream I was fully lucid. It was to this day the wildest dream I've ever had. Story 33 I had a dream my husband had cheated on me. We split and co-parented. Years went by the dream and when I woke up I was absolutely exhausted and mentally shaken as none of it was real. For a couple of weeks I was really disconnected from this reality trying to recover. Experiencing a life you never actually lived is wild. Story 34 My wife now ex and I were skinning a man alive preparing to cook and eat him. Somehow keeping him alive was going to make the meat more tender. He was trying to fight me off by kicking me in the face, but he was half dead and weak, so he was just kind of slapping me with his skinless foot that had a big chunk of fat dangling from it. It was really annoying, because I just wanted to get the job done, but he kept slapping me with his fatty meat foot. She was stuck in her own words. I saw nothing really stopping her, me from leaving in a kinda remote rural village. Everyone there looked slightly off, but I can't really point my finger at why exactly. At some point she, I entered a building that was like a one-room school, but there were only a handful of adults there. They all wore slightly old-fashioned clothes like around the 1950s, I guess and looked very serious. However, for some random reason, one of those people was showcasing an assortment of what he described as novelty toys. I saw one that was supposed to be fun eyebrows that would attach to your face. What it actually was was like a long strip of segmented plastic, like a bunch of sheets vertically attached to each other, all black in color, with the topmost one having a asterisk very tiny asterisk pair of googly eyes and eyebrows at each top corner. Basically you were supposed to glue the whole thing to your body, and the eyes and eyebrows would essentially be floating quite a few centimeters off your face. I asterisk think asterisk the sheets were supposed to be transparent. That's the only way it minimally makes any sense, but it's still completely random. Either way, for some reason the thought of playing with that filled me with so much dread that I woke up. Story 37, I so seldom remember my dreams. The last one is a few years ago all I remember is I had to carry a peep hole like from a door to be able to see people. Story 38, it was a typical horror movie setting. I was staying in a dark house with other young persons, who were dying one after another in strange, superficial ways. The last one died by starting to throw up goose eggs with a colorful logo printed on them. At the end the front of his face split open. The young staff of the house turned out to be apprentices of a magician and were all into gruesome self-harm, but a certain spell held them together. I remained the last survivor when the chief magician, a tall person with a really small head revealed himself. At that point he and the staff started to openly discuss how to kill me. However, there was this mobile video game, created by a powerful magician, which they were playing. After completing each level, powerful spells were revealed on the screen. They were not able to pass the last level with the ultimate spell as a reward. I did manage to win and showed my success from afar. Then I quickly turned off the phone, telling them I'll tell them how to win if they keep me alive. The magician with the small head started to think what to do with me. He climbed the window and suspended himself from the top with his hands behind his back, close to dislocating his shoulders. Then I woke up. They were everywhere, covering the ground, in the trees, 
on the roof of the barn, not causing any trouble, just there. I see a commotion at my grandma's across the street and realize National Geographic is filming a special on the green anaconda chilling in her yard by the grape arbors. Then I woke up, for reference, this is in mid-Atlantic USA. No anacondas here. And yet, story 41, at the start, I was walking through my old university campus when I was confronted by an ex who I had dated at a different university. She started to yell at me about how I had given her a horseshoe hammer in an incorrect manner, and we argued for a little bit. We then told each other that we would see each other tonight at her place for dinner. I then walked into a bar and saw down at the counter with the bartender facing away from me. We start chatting about relationship troubles and he is giving me great relationship advice. He then turns around and it's fucking Sean Hannity from Fox News, Sean then starts telling me all this great advice, and I'm sitting there absolutely flabbergasted like I can see my reflection behind him and it's clear that I am confused by the whole thing. I proceed to interrupt him and we then have this exchange. Me, hold on a fucking minute, aren't you supposed to be on Fox News? Sean, oh that's my side gig, this bartending is my day job. Me, okay I then pay for my drink, wish him a nice day, and walk out the front door. I am now on a patio about 2,000 feet off the ground. In front of me is some large bay, harbor area filled with mud and water. In the distance is the skyline of some shattered city. In this harbor, bay is a number of absolutely massive submarines scattered in various parts. The pieces then start pulling themselves together into these huge submarines. I blink my eyes close. I reopen my eyes and I am somewhere different. I am in some large underground lab, decked out in body armor with an AK in my hands. A earpiece in my ear tells me that I need to get the fuck out of there. I start running and come into a room where a number of scientists are working on various projects. They see me, start yelling, grab tools and run towards me. I shot all of them without a blink. I keep running. I go through the next door. Now I am on a rooftop alongside a busy highway. I am being shot at, and I return fire. I tend jump off the roof onto the highway and keep running. The gunfire stops and I start walking. I blink to take a deep breath of nighttime air, and I wake up. I remember the train was really wide, it wasn't running on one set of tracks but probably eight or more tracks in parallel to support its girth. Lots of big armored guards looking like dudes out of Warhammer fall out. I eventually get to the destination and I'm dragged before their emperor. He's running the whole show, this guy has absolute power and is ruling ruthlessly and the whole world is suffering. I remember feeling so overcome and helpless and just sad. I had no weapons. I was not some crazy strong person who could assassinate him, just one frail broken man in a broken world, and they certainly didn't have any reason to fear me. As they dragged me closer I eventually got face to face with him, and he was just as supervillain badass as you can imagine. On his throne, surrounded by guards and sniveling advisors. And I grabbed him. I grabbed him and let out all the emotion I could. I thought about every person who was suffering, everyone who was in pain, all the sorrow of the world. But also all we had before the war, all the joy and pleasure and love of mankind. I thought of green fertile fields where now there was a wasteland. Of clear skies full of birds instead of bombs, oceans empty of pollution and filled with life. I thought how it didn't need to be this way. All in the blink of an eye. And he saw. He realized what was happening was wrong. Everything. That their conquest was just nihilism. That the vast efforts they were putting into controlling and winning was their ultimate defeat that he alone has the power to stop it and take us back. And then I woke up, TLDR I ratatouled a god emperor to save the world. But that night I had my best dream ever, asterisk I see fished amongst lots of Baja racing flags, asterisk I caught a dolphin and reeled him in asterisk, asterisk, asterisk I realized it was a dream, but didn't wake up asterisk I jumped onto the dolphin, who let me ride him, asterisk we managed to fly through the air, Asterisk but we hit an invisible wall above the level and could not exceed the boundary of the original fishing zone sad face yeah. My best dream ever was like a mediocre cartridge game from the 90s. So what, the best part was how fast my mind set, dreams recovered moving to a healthy, low stress, restful state after months living in a bad place and it turned out asterisk asterisk awesome, asterisk asterisk. Story 44. Weirdest one had to be when I was on Ambien. Something about fighting crime with a rock band of trans people in those rubber horse masks. Story 45. I woke up in a dream with our then queen lie next to me smoking an after-sex cigarette. That dream I never forget.